Hello, and welcome to the Messy Garage of Queen Central. Thanks for joining us today. So I um, just finished another video mentioning that I was going to be doing seed starting in a different video. This would be that video. And so I am. Um, it's February 11th. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I think I did this last year, Super Bowl Sunday. And I was going to make a video originally starting out with cleaning your seed pots. So I am not the best with cleaning up in time. Um, we're just going to admit that out loud. So right here, here are just a few. few of the seed pots from last year that I either took the fires, I took the plant out, put them in the ground, or they didn't grow. And these are actually outside. I just bought these inside. So they were outside. <laughs> like all summer and winter but the pots that i use here if you don't know these are bootstrap um farmer pots and they're wonderful uh, i think i had maybe a couple that look like they changed color a little bit from being in the sun because i did not take the best care of them but other than that they are doing great now these guys still need to be clean you should clean them even though the pink ones are empty um i'm still going to clean them and what i did i'm not going to take you inside to where i did it i have a big tub like that right there and I filled it with hot water and some um, Castile soap. I use the uh, Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile soap and I dumped these out. Um, I think I dumped them out outside. I don't know, I'll dump them out somewhere. And I threw those all in there and I have a little, an old, um, you know, the, the brushes that you use to clean like bottles. I had an old one of those. And so I use that to just swish around, clean them out. I use hot water too. I like hot water, it doesn't bother me. And I switched them out, cleaned them out, rinsed them off, and let them dry. They dry really fast. And these are the ones that I got clean so far. Sorry. These are the ones I got clean so far. Right here. Um, I didn't do a whole lot yet, but I have a bunch of my 6Ls. These are also bootstraps. Dog got a hold of them. <laughs> but these are all bootstraps as well. I love the colors. Um, and these are the... These are the, They have a, a larger pot. These are the two two inch pots they have a three inch pot as well I don't have those but what I did get this year that I won it last year and didn't get and realized this year I need it when I had mice eating my seeds um I just opened this box as such and I got their domes and trays I have some domes and trays they're not bootstrap they were just random ones I bought but I was excited to get there these are super heavy duty um this is the dome I got five. Oh gosh sorry about that yeah I got five of them. They have the humidity things here that you just turn. Let more in, let more out, let less out. And then here are the tray bottles. So these are super, super thick and sturdy. Um, very thick and sturdy. These will last forever, <laughs> I think. So I think I can fit 32 pots in these and uh, 12, no, eight of the six cells, but we are going to start planting and this is what we're going to be planting in. Um, they are going to be going in my bath, my small bathroom setup that I put, um, a stand in this is where I usually do it in the greenhouse that's over there. Um, we're supposed to be putting a walkway to the greenhouse. I have an indoor big greenhouse. We're supposed to be putting a walkway to the actual outside wooden greenhouse very soon hopefully. So I didn't want to start putting stuff in there. And if somehow it happens soon, because I could have stuff in there all the way through like May, I didn't want to have to deal with that. I will still be using the workbench one, which has a large heat mat on it. Um, but it's still messy. So I'm going to be starting uh, what I start, which will be mostly cold crops in the bathroom and the hall bathroom that no one uses a shower because it's scary, dangerous. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So that's, we're going to get started on that. Now, what do I use? My soil. I actually, that tub I was showing you originally, this is actually mixed soil in there already from last year. I have the lid. I put the lid on it when I was done. It's still somewhat moist. I mean, I still need to add water to it, but all it is is some good premium topsoil that I get. I um, break it up as much as I can, and then I add um, cocoa core, or I add... Um, I'm going to call it perlite. No, I, I add perlite. I have some of that right there. Perlite and, uh, oh my gosh, I'm losing my word. Perlite and vermiculite. But this is peat moss. So I have added peat moss or I have added cocoa cure in this bucket of more than half full of water. I threw a cocoa core block. 
literally was a big old block, like a cube, like a wood block. And it's gonna absorb all the water. And then I will mix that in with, I have some new dirt here. But for now, I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna use this right here. Um, and I'm gonna probably start with some lettuces and my peppers, get those started. And I'm not exactly sure, but I'll show you once I do it. Okay, so I am set. I have filled them all with water. I actually have, I don't know, with water. <laughs> filled them all with soil. I actually used my little spray bottle. No, that's not what's in it. I cleaned it out. Um, but I used that spray bottle to give them all a nice spray dampening of the top. Um, these are all mostly broccolis of some sort. I've got the regular D, Dicho broccoli and Waltham 29. Then I've got some Chinese broccoli and some, I have a Chinese cabbage in here just because they were in the same container. This is a type of Chinese cabbage, um, almost salad-like. So I'm trying it for the first time. We'll see how that is. I'm only making one little pot of that. Um, snowball cauliflower, cauliflower romanesca, burgundy broccoli, and bro broccoli and broccoli rob. So this tray is going to be all broccoli, and I need to wash some more pots out so I can plant some more cab. Sorry, hiccups, cabbage. Um, and uh, my peppers and whatnot. So I can't even do that in here because I have not cleaned them all out. So I'm gonna finish this, um, get these planted in the smaller ones that are way over there. Don't look at my messy garage. I'm gonna plant some herbs, uh, get my basil started, um, plant some parsley, cause that takes a little while to get started. Uh, plant some more sage because it I think sage actually has to be cold stratified because I finally have some sage growing outside um, from the cold. Sage and oregano will keep growing and growing. I'm going to plant some more um, sage, rosemary. I might plant oregano, I'm not sure. Uh, get those started so that they can go out. I'm going to keep them in pots this year because then I can keep them in the greenhouse over the winter of next winter and keep using them, which is great. Um, you can still use them outside too because my oregano is actually still growing outside. My rosemary, not so much with the oregano outside is, but I can get rosemary from in the garage and not the garage in my greenhouse, but I don't have a lot, so I haven't pulled anything off of it. I'm going to let it keep growing. Um, and I'm not sure what else I'm going to plant in there. Those smaller pots at the moment, I can't remember. So I'm just making little wells. I'm using my little baby shovel here and I just push the dirt to the side. You can use with your finger. I usually use my finger, but I just, this was just a little easier this time. Give myself a little well, and then I'm just going to drop the tiny, tiny seeds that they have in the hole and cover them back up. And then I will dampen them all again by spraying again on top just to make sure that they all get contact with the ground and are nice and wet. So that's what I'm doing. So I forgot to take the video of the setup. It's not a great one, it's what it is, so it's been 10 days and they've all sprouted pretty good. I'm trying to keep them low. Some of them look like they're getting a little leggy, even the light's right there. Next steps, I am going to have to separate them. Yep, maybe tonight I'll separate some of the broccolis. I can't grow cauliflower to save my life, it looks like, but oh, some of it looks like starting to sprout. Okay, all right, first time for everything. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Have a blessed day.